Pontiacs. Oh, hey, a DeLorean. Uh, that actually does belong with the Pontiacs, oddly enough. That makes total sense because, of course, it was designed by the guy who made Pontiac what it was. Hey, y'all, welcome back to Doug's Cars. Heading down to Jacksonville this morning for their Cars and Coffee, which is called Caffeine and Octane here. It's my first Cars and Coffee in Florida, so hey, figured I'd bring the camera along. And let's see what fun stuff we, we can see here. It's more organized than the one in Richmond. There's like sections for specific cars and car groups from what I've seen on social media. So let's check it out. I made it. They have their own parking zone just for people who are spectators. Man, this is huge. I don't even know where to begin. I'm just gonna start walking down the aisles here and see what we've got. That's a sweet K5 Blazer that's slammed. Uh, looks like we've got new modern BMWs over there from uh, Tom Bush, which is the local BMW dealership. Oh, so this isn't all like Mercedes in one place, GMC in another. There's Chevys here. Oh, wait, this is all Chevys. Okay, so it is. Yeah, so these are just all Chevrolets. As far as I can see, ooh, I see an old Supra over there. I might have to go take a look at that one. They got Haggerty here. Man, this is all kinds of... Oh, that's... Electric Super Beetle. Okay. Very, very cool. Ah, there we go. That's right. I got a mile right there. <laughs> that thing is beautiful. Wow. Completely redone. Now we've got one of these little Nissan Pals here. I know there's a couple of those that were floating around in, in Richmond, but I didn't really get to see them. Yeah. Uh, Ford pickup. Oh, yeah, here. Here's the Celica GTS. The fender flares. Remember those alloys very well. Cool ride next to uh, Avalanche. <laughs> yeah, plenty of Chevys here. 58 triple carburetors. And of course, air conditioning. Because you're not going to drive that around here without it, that's for sure. Wow, this is cool. I'm really digging this. Here's a, like a Pro Street or something, 57 Chevy, that blower sticking out the hood. Looks <laughs> like we found the Pontiac, Firebird, GTO. Ooh. This is a Volvo <laughs> with what appears to be an LS in it. Two door Volvo with the LS swap. Very cool. Let's see, oh, Mission Barbecue is here. Man, this place is, this is so much more than the Richmond one was. Just so much more. I mean, it's not that much bigger of a metro area than what I was used to, but yeah, so all Pontiacs, oh, hey, a DeLorean. Uh, that actually does belong with the Pontiacs, oddly enough. That makes total sense because, of course, it was designed by the guy who made Pontiac what it was. <laughs> That's cool. Everybody loves going doors, right? Very cool. So check out all the Z cars, y'all. The last time all of these were in a row together like this, they were at a dealership in 1975. Every color under the sun, and that's a right-hand drive one with the Japanese-style mirrors. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen this many Z cars together. That's, that's insane. It's awesome. Come on in. Wow. Even all the way up to New Orleans here. I found one of the Land Rovers. It might be the only Land Rover here. Probably the only one that made it. Oh, well, it's got the five spokes. Those on P38s too, I believe. Yeah, live salty. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just made it over to... No, this is, that's the Mercedes section there. Oh, wow. There's a 300 convertible. I'll have to go take a look at that. Oh, I love these. These just look so good. This one's probably had a bit of a hard life judging by the seat covers, but uh, yeah, it's a good color. A lot of Benzes here. I'm guessing this is not a real one, judging by the interior and all. This is probably a kit car. And it looks like it's fiberglass from the peel on the paint and everything, but still cool. 250C, these are nice. Pillarless coupe, automatic crank windows, but lots of nice wood in there. Very cool, very pretty. Interesting color. And then of course the W126, everyone's favorite S-Class. And a bunch of the newer stuff, but uh, looks like some AMGs over there and an M4. So yeah, 
it's a little, little mixed up. It's not quite perfectly matched to what, what's going on, but that's okay. And I'm really glad I came. This is only like once a month, but it's absolutely worth it. And I'll be back. Ooh, a V8 bike tour just pulled in. Bunch of 129s here. Of course, being Florida, a convertible is a great car to have. And then some older stuff down here. Very nice. I like the black with the uh, like dark oxblood interior. And look at the wood on that. That's amazing. That's so nice. Interesting looking seatbelt latches. And then, uh, oh, oh, an AMG wagon. Uh, absolutely on the on the want list. I found one going indoors. It's a McMurk uh, SLR. It's for sale. ClassicMotorCars.com. I'm guessing it's probably out of my price range, but uh, it would be a fun car to have regardless. Great color combination. Of course, it has the, the air brake in the back that famously made Clarkson's face fall off, and it was made by McLaren in the UK. Yeah, it's kind of finishing, finishing up with the Mercedes here. Oh, they're going to flip this wagon in. Let me get out of his way because I want to go look at this Challenger over here. There's a bunch of Mopar. This one's a later one, judging by the grill, maybe a 70 two or three, I forget exactly. I used to know those things. Um, very cool, and then, I can't remember if this is Go Lime Go. Oh wow, oh, we've got like a Survivor one here. I think this is a later, later one, like a 74, um, judging by the body style. Very, very cool stuff. Boom, oh, looks like more Mercedes, oh, neat. A second gen Prelude. We don't see these anymore very much. Huh. A Volvo from Kansas? Uh, is Elliot Alvis here? <laughs> uh, but yeah, nice. Nice prelude. Sunroof. It's a stick shift. Uh, yeah, very cool. Very, very gray. Very gray interior. I like it a lot. Looks like I made it to the end over here because these are just regular, normal cars now and like spectator parking from the looks of things. Uh, I better turn around and go back. This was parked in amongst the spectator cars, is Malibu. <laughs> no dash, it's got the air intake sticking up through the hood. It's got four pins on the front, no rear window. It's got big tires in the back, no rear seat. This thing is, this thing is awesome. <laughs> I love it. There's a fancy Mustang here that I'm gonna try to stay away from uh, because I'm at a Cars and Coffee and there's a Mustang, but this is what I was coming over here for. It's a Murano Cross Cabriolet, but it has the top down. You never see these with the top down, ever. And you get to see the world's tiniest back seat in an SUV and it's got some kind of critter hanging out here on the antenna. Oh, it's skeleton. Uh, did these have sport badges or was that added on from Pep Boys? But the top is down, how hilarious is that? Oh, it's got a bunch of chrome stuff added on. You never ever see these with the top down. And for good reason. <laughs> the, the no revving sign as all the Scooby-Roo guys are just revving like crazy. Great. I don't want to hear your Subaru. Pretty cool VW microbus there. All kinds of junk on it. <laughs> hey look, there's a whole bunch of... I'm in the BMW section. One, two, three, four BMWs. Oh wait, no, those are... Those are Toyotas, never mind. Beautiful Buick Century here with Ventiports on the side and wire wheels and... It's a four-door hardtop, very cool. And then behind it, 56 Coupe de Ville, my favorite Cadillac, other than probably 59. For some reason, I've always liked the 56s. They have, you know, extra features on them. The exhaust through the bumper, I know a lot of them did, but this one has a USA plate on it like it was overseas in the military or something. This is a LS1 cart, cool. This is like a Corvette probably that they just, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> That is really cool. And I gotta talk over the guy, but yeah, it's got cup holders even. Very, very cool. Just to, uh, we found all the Cadillacs. Oh wow, they're all low ride. I, I, I for the, the stock ones like this. There's a couple of Grand Nationals, always on the top of my list of cool stuff. Early 70s Eldorado, giant, giant front wheel drive convertible with a 8.1 liter engine. One of these little Suzuki K car vans, all decorated up for Christmas. The lights and everything, man, it's tiny. Yeah, you're real close together in there. It's almost like a car for kids. Like one of those ones they sell in, uh, in Sweden for uh, kids to drive who don't have their full license yet. It's like got some Jeeps and stuff over here and there's just Mustangs everywhere. It's impossible to avoid them. 
because you know they're all going to spin out try to kill you. Check out the CJs over here. Or, uh, not as many of the new Wranglers as you would see in Richmond, which is fine. Um, but yeah, that's <laughs> that's the way to do it right there. That's awesome. The eight, the TAs. This thing looks like something that uh, we would have some fun with. It's covered in mud. It's got a sweet light bar on it. And uh, yeah, it's like something for the cheap car challenge that had too much fun at the farm. This is the first Ford Maverick I've seen in person that's not been driving. So I can actually like walk up to it and take a look. Yeah, there's, there's, I mean, that engine is down in there and there's nothing pretty about it. That's fine. It doesn't need to be. So this is an XLT. It's got the, it's got the uh, Ford buttons on the door, which I know is an option, but is absolutely necessary. Very, very tinted windshield. Wow. Um, very cool. I have a, a buddy who has one of these on order. I can't wait to see it. I don't know when he's going to get it. Probably in May. <laughs> but it's a good size. It really is. This guy passed me on the interstate on the way down here. It's got a New Jersey tag on it. Beautiful, like bronze wheels. Look at all the bronze. Wow. Yeah, you can still smell the heat coming off of that because he just drove it down here. And the brown interior, it's a stick. That's awesome. Oh, man, really, really nicely done. And that paint is shiny and that is matte. I really like how that's done. Deep, deep dish, rear wheels. <laughs> that's one of the coolest 55. I, I prefer usually the stock ones i can absolutely enjoy and appreciate the amount of work that went into making something like this it's beautiful but this one this one's really caught my eye i like this one a lot a lot this is a new mclaren oh no it's 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 their service vehicle that, that that's a new mclaren yeah they, i knew they're making so many different kinds now uh looks like they drove all the way up from orlando <laughs> oh i found all the supercars or at least a lot of the supercars so lotus there's an alpha see the Lambos over there. Uh, ooh, a Porsche 968. That is definitely worth checking out. Uh, not a Ferrari. 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 Not a Ferrari. Well, this is what I was coming over here for. I've got to pop over this here. Hmm, 968. Guards red with a tan interior. Huh. That is definitely not a U.S. plate. That is somewhere from the Middle East. I don't know if that's where this car originally came from. I would, thought these came with bigger wheels from the factory, at least on the U.S. spec models. Rumos Porsche, so it's actually local. Uh, oh, I found I found a lot of the uh, spicy Volkswagens over here. Oh, there's a Taycan or a Taycan or however you're supposed to say that. Uh, wow, I mean, there's like actually cool colors on Porsches here. You've got the orange on this Boxster. You've got the two really nice blues, especially that lighter blue back there and the yellow. Fly yet? Is it fly yellow? No, that's a, that's a Ferrari color. Ooh, there's another 968 up here. I'm just people are starting to leave because um, like some people just got here real early. I had to drive an hour, so I I didn't make it. But that's a really cool color, and this has the bigger wheels. I was expecting to see on the other 968. Really nice green. That New York inspection, interesting. Uh, and also the tan interior, very cool. And then of course, I wonder if this is a real one or if it is a kit. I'm leaning towards it being a kit, but you never know. It's very nicely done, regardless. Mm, this one has the scaffolding inside, I believe. Very cool. This is the this is the 4.0. So this is the naturally aspirated version, right? Let me know if I'm wrong. Uh, that happens. Even the four-cylinder ones, you have to be careful of because they can spin out of control at any time. Um, so this is kind of a mishmash. We've got American pony car, American sports car, Japanese sports car, and then modern stuff. Z06, this looks like it's been breathed upon a little bit. Mm hmm. 69 Charger. Oh, very nice. Yeah, that's, um, that's definitely not stock under there, that's for sure. But it does have the stock vinyl top. Very nice interior. Uh, interesting factory air car, blue vinyl, black vinyl top. <laughs> Look all you want, do not touch. Don't worry, I won't touch. Ooh, a Roadrunner. Wow, that's a very, very 70s interior. This doesn't look like the Cadillac my mom had when I was a kid. Interesting. I'm glad there's at least one link in here other than the one that I brought that's in the parking lot for spectators. The convertible Continental from the 60s. 
glorious car this is. You can tell from the front end what year they are. I can't, this is a later one. I would say 66, 67, somewhere in there. I don't know for sure. They were a little bit longer by then. Um, and then a bunch of Corvairs. You don't see these too much anymore. That one's an interesting front end to keep the gravel on. Hey Reg, I know what you need to do to your sign now. Trick wheels, interesting interior. Uh, I don't think that's graphics on the roof. There you go. Ooh, there goes that Malibu I saw in the, in the spectator lot earlier. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> I wonder if I can hear him make a right. If I come up here, we can see him. Oh, there's there's the kids with the cameras who are filming people leave. I don't think we're gonna be able to hear him though. Ooh, Z car in primer. Huh, he got on it. That was worth the price of admission right there. And on that bombshell, I think I'm gonna end this video. Uh, this is my first time here. I think I'm gonna try to come out a little earlier next time. There's a uh, gold chrome Camaro. Uh, yeah, I just, you know, I, I live an hour away. So I got here when I got here. When I, get here so I'll, I'll try to come earlier next time it'll be next month now so i hope you enjoyed caffeine and octane in jacksonville and uh stay tuned for more doug's cars coming soon please hit subscribe and uh see you all in a future video